Firewatcher, interview, question and answer. Question, 1. What is fire? Fire is a chemical reaction of fuel with required amount of heat, oxygen and during this reaction heat and light produces. Question, 2. What are the elements of fire, fuel, oxygen, heat and chain reaction? Absence of any of the components, fire would not occur. Question, 3. What is fire triangle? Fire triangle is a diagram, which represents the three side of the triangle that creates a fire such as oxygen, heat, and fuel. Question, 4. What is fire tetrahedron, oxygen, heat, fuel and chemical chain reaction are the four elements of fire tetrahedron? Question, 5. What are the classification of fire? Indian Standard, Class A Ordinary Solid Material Fires, for example, Wood, Paper, Class B, Flammable Liquid Fires, for example, Diesel, Petrol, Class C, Flammable Gas Fires, for example, Hydrogen, Acetylene, Class D, Combustible Metal Fires, for example, Sodium, Potassium, Class F, Cooking Oil Fires, and kitchen fires, for example, vegetable oils and fat, British Standard, Class A ordinary solid material fires, for example, wood, paper, Class B, flammable, liquid fires, for example, diesel, petrol, Class C, flammable gas fires, for example, hydrogen, acetylene, Class D, combustible metal fires, for example, sodium, potassium, class F, cooking oil fires, and kitchen fires, for example, vegetable oils and fat electrical fire is not specified in the standard since it can be happen in any class of fire. NFPA 10 standard, class A ordinary solid material fires, for example, wood, paper, class B, flammable liquid and gases, for example, diesel, petrol, class C, electrical fires, for example, energized electrical equipment, class D, combustible metal fires, for example, sodium, potassium, class K, cooking oil fires, and kitchen fires, for example, vegetable oils and fat. Question. 6. What are the main types of fire extinguisher, water, foam, dry chemical powder, DCP, carbon dioxide, CO2? Question. 7. What are the color codes of fire extinguisher, water, red, foam, cream, DCP, blue, carbon dioxide, black, wet chemical, yellow? Question. 8. What is fire extinguishing principle? Fire extinguishment principle involves elimination of one or more of the components forming a fire triangle. Question 9. What are the types of fire extinguishment methods? Cooling, removal of heat, starvation, removal fuel, smoothening, removal of oxygen, chain breaking, by DCP. Blanketing. Question 10. What other methods for fire can spread? Transfer of heat is responsible for initiation, continuation, and extinguishment of most fire. Fire can spread by one or more of the following modes. Conduction. Heat from one body is transferred to another by direct contact. Convection. Heat is transferred by a circulating medium either a gas or liquid. Radiation, heat is transferred from one body to another by heat ray by a medium in between them. Question 11. What is pass rule? P. Pull the pin. A. Aim at the base of the fire. S. Squeeze the trigger. S. Sweep side to side. Question 
12. What are the precautions for welding? Remove all combustion material from the place of welding, clear the work area and cover the wooden floor with fireproof blanket, erect the fire blanket booth around the work, welding machine should be double earthed, welding are should be dry and free from water, keep the fire extinguisher and sand bucket nearly, barricade the work area and put a signboard, use mandatory and job-related PPE such as leather hand gloves, goggles, and helmets, switch off the power when welding is stopped. Question 13. Which fire extinguisher should be used on a trash bin full of paper ignited by a cigarette? Class A. A fire extinguishers are used on ordinary combustible materials, example, water type fire extinguisher. Question. 14. What is flash point? Flash point of a particular material is the lowest temperature, at which vapor of the material undergoes ignition in the presence of an ignition source. Flash point produce only flash in the present of ignition source. Example. Diesel. 52 to 96 degrees Celsius. Note. Flash point of any liquid can change as the pressure in the air around. It changes according to thermodynamic principle. Question 15. Define auto-ignition temperature. Auto-ignition temperature of a substance is the lowest temperature at which it will spontaneously ignite in a normal atmosphere. Without an external source of ignition. Question 16. What is fire point? Fire point of a particular material is the lowest temperature at which the vapor of a substance can keep burning. When we remove the ignition source, fire point continue to burn when we remove the ignition source. Example, diesel, 120 degrees Celsius, flash point is always less than the fire point. Question 17. What advice would you give the CEO of Firewatch about how to improve it, keep the workplace by removing all combustible materials, and cover with blankets the knowledge of the hazards? Question 18. What is hot work? Hot work is a process that involves welding, soldering, brazing, cutting, grinding, drilling and burning, or melting metals or other substances such as glass. Question 19. What PPE is required for hot work? Appropriate PPE must be used whenever hot work is conducted. At a minimum eye, face, and hand protection is required. Attendance on hot work area monitoring must also be provided with appropriate PPE. Other PPE for example, boots, gloves, hard hat, fall protection, and protective garments, must be used as required by OSHA. Question 20. Who issues hot work permit? A hot work permit authorized by the premise responsible person, or their nominated representative and the contractor, and person in control of the hot work will be required. Question 21. What is LEL, lower explosive limit, LEL, the lowest concentration of gas, or vapor which will burn, or explode if ignited? From the LEL to the UEL, the mixture is explosive, below the LEL, the mixture is too lean to burn. Above the UEL, the mixture is too rich to burn. Question. 22. What is UEL, upper explosive limit, UEL, the highest concentration of gas, or vapor which will burn, or explode if ignited? Question 23. Who is fire watcher? A fire watcher is a worker trained and assigned to stay in the area of hot work and look for any evidence of an accidental fire. 
Question 24. What are the main jobs of a fire watcher? The main job for fire watch personnel is to sound the alarm, if there is an emergency so that firefighters can bring in. They may attempt to control the fire, but their primary role is not to fight the flames, but to simply alert professionals, so that they can come in and take care of it. Question 25. What are the responsibilities of fire watcher? Watch for any hazardous conditions, and stop the hot work in the event of any potential fire hazard development, having fire extinguishing equipment readily available and being well trained for its immediate use. Being familiar with facilities and procedures for sounding an alarm in the event of a fire and having a means of notifying emergency services, maintaining the conditions and requirements stated on the safety permit, inspecting the entire work area to look for potential release of flammable vapor, or liquid before, during, and at the end of each shift, keep all proof taps, shield, and blankets in place. Never leaving the job site while the work is being done, remain in constant attendant until 30 minutes after the job is done.